Hey guys, welcome to Accessibility Social Side, and today we are going to see another area of interim question and answer, like how we can delete the files those are having the size more than one MB from the blob storage. So we want to delete all those files those are having one MB or more than that in the size. So how we can do that? So let me quickly go into the Azure blob storage, and here. As we can see under this testing folder, we have these two files. So as per the size, currently we don't have as much large file. So we are going to implement the logic on these two files. So we will be going to delete the file. Those are having the size more than 250 bytes. So that we can see in the first one. In the second one, that is 198 bytes. So we will not going to delete this file from this blob storage so only first will be deleted so let me quickly go into the azure data factory and we'll try to implement this in practical so let me try to add a new pipeline here now here what we want to do so first we have to use a get metadata activity so under the get metadata activity we'll be using the child items so that will be containing all the files those are available under the testing folder second we'll be going to use the for each activity so we'll loop through all these files one by one next under the for each loop activity we will be going to use another get metadata activity for checking the size of the file so we will get the size of the file from the another get metadata activity under the for each activity and after that will be use the if condition activity whether we'll be checking the size of the file is greater than 250 byte or not if that is then we will be going to delete that so this is the flow that we have to implement so here let me try to use the get metadata activity first so this get metadata activity will be used to get all these files those are available under the testing folder so first we have to go under the setting and trying to add a new data set here and this data set will be going to pointing the testing folder so we can browse here and we can select the testing folder so here after selecting this we are not required to select any of these files so it will be keeping the files those are available under the testing folder so as of now we can see only these two files now here we can see the field list so what property we want to use we want to use the child items of the get metadata activity so child items will be keeping all these files so let me click on this plus symbol on the new and here in the argument we can select the child items now we can use the for each activity and this for each activity will be looped through for all these files one by one and will be processing so under the setting under the items we can select the child item from the get metadata activity one now we can go under this for each activity and in this for each activity we'll be going to use the get metadata activity again so this get metadata activity will get the file name along with the size of the file so again here we have to create the data set and this data set will be dynamic like the file names we are getting from the for each activity so the file name will be dynamic so let me click on continue and here we can select this link service here let me try to browse and select the testing folder and click on ok first row as header we can mark this and click on ok so go here and here let me try to open this so under this we can mark this as dynamic like the file name so for making this as dynamic we can go into the parameter and trying to add a new parameter here so this is the file name and in the connection we can select this file name parameter that we have created so once we made this change in the pipeline level it is asking the file name value so this file name value is coming from this for each activity and we can use the name property of this click on ok 
so it will be having the get metadata activity we have set up the data set here which field list we want to use here so we want to get the file name so that will be the item name second we are also required to see the size so here we can see the size so once we have set up this let me try to execute and we'll try to validate in this get metadata activity too will be having the file name along with the size of the file or not so this is in progress we have to wait so in the get metadata activity one it will be having total two files so as we can see the first file and the second file and after that we can see the for each activity so this for each activity will be going to execute two times so that we can see here the count as in two now we can see the get metadata too so here we can check the file name along with the size so size is coming in the bytes so we can compare along with the bytes directly let me cancel this go back to here after this get metadata activity we are required to use the if condition activity so what we are doing now whatever the size we are getting from this get metadata to if that size is greater than 250 bytes then we'll be deleting those so under the if condition activity we can go in the activities and under the expression we can specify so the expression is we are required to check the greater value of 250 from the get metadata activity to and the property will be the size so we can select that so if this value is greater than 250 bytes then it will return true otherwise it will return false so click on ok so if that will true then we are required to delete the file so let me try to drag and drop this delete and here let me try to go in the source and required to set up a data set so let me quickly set up the data set here again so we can select the link service and here we can select the path so again we are going to select till testing and the file name will be making as dynamic so click on ok let me try to open this and here we can see the parameter so let me try to add the file name here and go to the connection and here the file name is coming from this f name parameter click on ok once we have made this change then pipeline level we can go and this data set is asking about the file name so the file name that should be coming from the get metadata activity to and the property which is the item name now click on ok so once we have set up this so everything looks good we can go into the pipeline and try to execute it so okay so it is asking in the logging level if we want to enable the logging on the delete activity then we have to set up the link service so i'm not going to enable the logging for this so now let me try to execute it so once it will be executed one file will be deleted and second file will be there and the file which is more than 250 bytes should be deleted so as you can see the first file which is the salesindia.json will be deleted from here and salesuk.json will not be deleted because the size which is less than 250 bytes so here we can see everything is executed successfully here the first if condition is checking for the first file and it will succeed so under the true we can see this delete activity so which is deleting the file and in the second time it is again checking for the second file and it does not find the value as true so that's why delete activity did not execute it let me go here try to refresh so one file should be deleted and one is remaining as you can see here so this is very common interview question so thank you so much for watching this video i would request all of you please like this video and subscribe our channel see you in the next video